Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this question. Uh, we're asked to complete the table and then complete the histogram. Um, you can do this by counting squares, but I'm just going to use the formula for this. And the formula, oh, choose the right one. The formula has frequency at the top and the frequency density in class width at the bottom. And it works the same way as most, uh, or the speed, distance, time, and all of those ones. So we know the class width, uh, well, well, let's work out the class widths for these. That's going to be 40, that's going to be 40, that's going to be 20. And I'm just looking at the distances between the 80 and the 100, so I'm doing 100 take away 80. So the next one's going to be 40, and the last one is going to be 60. Okay, now I know that I do the frequency divided by the class width to work out the frequency density. So I'm going to do 44 divided by 40. So I'm going to divide that by the class width, which gives me 1.1. Now if I go to my diagram and label that as 1.1, because frequency density is on um, that axis, on the y-axis, then if I look down, well, I notice that that's going to be 1.0, 0.8, 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 and 0, so it works perfectly and then obviously 1.2 at the top. So now I know my frequency densities, I can actually work out what the uh, next frequencies are. So the next one has a frequency density um, of 0 0.6, so I'm going to times that by 0 0.6 because this is our frequency densities times that not by 0 0.6, so I'm going to do 40 times 0 0.6, which is 24. The next one has a frequency density of 1.2, looking at the graph, or looking at the histogram, so 1.2. So I'm going to do 20 times 1.2, which is 24 as well. Okay, this time I've got to work backwards. Um, so I've given the frequency and I've given the class width. So I need to divide them across, so divide that by 40 and divide that by 60 to work out the frequency densities. So 24 divided by 40 is going to be 0 0.6 and 36 divided by 60 is going to be 0 0.6 as well. Well that's convenient. So they're both 0 0.6. So the first bar is going to be at 100 to a so 100 to 140, and it's going to be 0 0.6. So 140 is going to be there. And then the next bar is going to be 140 to 200. So it's a slightly longer bar there. And I'm just putting these off center so you can see them a little bit better. Now you don't need to shade these bars in, uh, just draw them uh, with a pencil and a ruler, and then that's it.